Ooh. What is up, guys? Um, we are going to be talking about the worst ad I have ever seen for um, an e commerce product. Um, <laughs> I apologize if I'm a little slow, guys. It's literally 4:50 in the morning. Um, hold on, I'm gonna pull up the I'm gonna pull up the the time just so you guys can see that. If it even wants to focus, nope, doesn't want. Oh, there we go, 4:50. So 4:50 in the morning. I have to get up at eight. That's besides the point, guys. I want to talk about this this really bad ad that I saw on Instagram the other day. Okay, and it inspired me to make this video. Um, so I screenshotted it. I screen recorded it. Um, you'll be seeing a lot of it right here. But essentially, guys, it's so it, it's a bracelet. Okay. And you know, the advertising a free bracelet, and it's a very, very pixelated image. Um, it's so bad that like I don't even, I don't even know if ooh, I don't even, I can't tell if they just tried to cover up the logo on that bottom right corner um, with just a name. Like, see, see right there. Yeah, there's like, uh, I. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, I want to point out a few different things, right, to help you guys learn from this, right? We'll make, the, we'll turn this into a learning experience. I've had a Red Bull, by the way, too, so um, we're cruising. Now, what can we take away from this ad? So first of all, guys, we need to break down. So everything has funnels, okay? And Instagram being one of the primary, you know, sources of income for my dropshipping stores, um, you really have to, like, learn this funnel. You really have to, like, master this, this advertising funnel, right? Um, and the way you go about doing this, right? So whether or not you're actually running ads on Instagram via, you know, the business manager on Facebook, or if you're doing shout outs, the funnel works the same. There's just different traffic sources, right? So your, your funnel starts at different locations, right? So if you're running ads um, to Facebook, um, or using Facebook, right? Then your funnel starts with that cold audience or that retargeting audience, whatever it is, but you know, if, if you're running ads, we're gonna just say cold audience, right? So your funnel starts with the cold audience. If you're running a shout out, then your funnel starts with that shout outs audience, right? Um, so that you got you got two things right the, now the next layer right is the actual visual component of your ad right because that's what needs to catch people's attention that's what needs to basically hijack their eyeballs to look at your product and then be like oh this is interesting what is it or like what like I'm I'm curious right um, and that's where because again this the Instagram funnel right how I how I like to break it down when I like speak at business events because it's the only time I really talked about it is that. Your Instagram funnel is very similar, guys, to a, to to an email, okay? And let, let me explain. So your image, your Instagram image, whether it's for an ad, whether it's for a shout-out, whatever it is, right? That's sort of like the, the subject, right, of your email, of your email that you're typing out, right? It needs to get someone's attention. It needs to draw someone's attention and get them to basically, you know, engage, right? And in, in Instagram's terms, right, look at it and, you know, actually spend time staring at um, your your image, right? Just like a subject is supposed to get someone to click through it, right? Now, your Instagram image is supposed to be it's supposed to be compelling enough where they actually go in and look at you know the description, or they swipe up to find out more, or you know they they, they want more information on it, right? Whereas in in an email, the subject, right, is supposed to you know you, they are supposed to click on the email and then actually start reading um, the body the body of the actual email, okay? And then from there, you're supposed to drive that traffic right back on Instagram. Um, you're supposed to drive that traffic after they've read up about what it is or gotten some information like about it, they're, they're most likely going to check out your actual Instagram profile, your social media, and sort of validate, right? For themselves, psychology, like psycholo, sci I'm not even gonna try and say the word, but they're gonna try and validate for themselves that, that your store is some, some somewhat trustworthy, right? And that's where, you know, you need good content, you need multiple photos, like, like this store guys, like they did everything, <laughs> they did everything wrong. Um, it's like they were trying, it's like they were trying to, to, to like, like for, first of all, guys, another thing that I, that I literally just realized as well is when you're, when you're running ads, right, if when you're drop shipping, like you need to be excluding people familiar with drop shipping and AliExpress. Like I shouldn't have even seen this ad in the first place. Okay. Because I can tell it's a drop shipped product. All right. When you're running Facebook ads, if you're not excluding audiences, like targeting, like in your, in your targeting, right. If you don't click on exclude and then you don't click on or you don't you know like include AliExpress and drop shipping as you know two interests that are excluded from your ads you're wasting money okay so boom valuable lesson right there okay now back to Instagram the actual funnel right so you're supposed to get their attention with the image okay the image is supposed to be compelling enough where they can they they the the audience the user right whoever's whoever's staring at the picture right 
is going to be interested in the caption. Now, the caption's job is supposed to drive them to your profile, okay? Because again, there's different parts of this funnel, right? And that's why some people don't see results on Instagram is because they, they, they butcher one of these segments of this funnel, okay? What people don't realize is there's funnels everywhere, okay? Like Ikea, okay? Ikea, the, the furniture company, they're one giant funnel. You go in that building and you're literally walking through a funnel. They're squeezing you through, like you can't find the freaking exit. Okay, it's a maze on purpose, okay? They're walking you through everything so you buy something, right? Now, this is the same step that we're doing with social media and with Instagram, and that's why some people just don't get results on Instagram. Like, they could be doing so many things, right? But if they do one thing wrong, they're not getting sales. And in this story's case, they did everything wrong. So, we're just gonna, we're just gonna break this down again, right? And um, hopefully help you guys um, learn something, right? So, again, how this funnel works, okay? Um, and I've already talked about is like they're supposed to eventually end up on your Instagram profile. Now your Instagram profile, guys, you need content on there. You need good custom content on there, okay? And you need multiple images. You can't just have two or three images like this guy did on their on their freaking is it gonna focus on their Instagram profile? They have three photos, all of which are from AliExpress, by the way. And I think I can verify that because um, I'm gonna reverse image search this this stuff in a second for you guys to kind of because I want to see their website as well. So we're just gonna go all in on these guys and kind of <laughs> kind of. Um, roast them a bit, but um, essentially, you guys, your, your Instagram profile, right? You need custom content here. You need multiple photos, at least nine, okay? Because nine covers the mobile feed, all right? It covers the grid, okay? So that at least, like minimum, guys, at least have nine if you can't for some reason have more than that, okay? And then in terms of like logo, like that's again, like I, I really feel like it's like they just slap text over an AliExpress logo or something. Just to, I don't know, I don't know. So we're gonna go find out, okay? So we're gonna hop in a screen share right now. Um, and I'm gonna go to these guys' website actually and kind of break down that, okay guys? But again, the first, like, like cause again, we are talking about the ad itself. Like this, they did everything wrong. Like, like they were trying to, to mess up. Um, yeah, so guys, in terms of the Instagram funnel, right? Just cause this is probably gonna be the most useful um, for you guys, right? is you need to get people's attention with compelling imagery, okay? Because again, Facebook and, I mean, even, even with shout outs, right? If, if you know your audience, right? Um, it's, it's fairly easy to get someone to purchase as long as, you, as long as you follow the steps in the funnel, okay? And as long as you actually like listen, like listen to what I'm saying, like get good custom content, right? That's compelling imagery. That's gonna get their attention. Again, you need to hijack their eyeballs, okay? It's like psychology. Okay, it's, it's why some movies are a lot better than others. It's, it's why some movies like can tell a really good story is because they're leading you. They're telling you, like they're, they're walking you through something. And you need to walk these potential clients, these potential customers through your Instagram funnel to get them to your website, to get them to you know, add whatever product to your cart and get them to purchase and you know, give you their hard earned cash, right? And so with that, right, what a lot of people do wrong is like, for example, they, they butcher the imagery. So the ad itself doesn't even perform well. People don't give a shit, right? They're not interested in it, okay? Or they do really good on the imagery, but then their ad copy is is not good. Okay, it's it, it's not compelling. It doesn't do anything to help inform the customer of either what it is, what it does, how it can help them, or um, some sort of emotional attachment to get them interested in it. Because again, people buy off of emotion, guys. They buy off of emotion and try to rationalize it with logic. Okay, it's not the other way around. Because if it was the other way around, then people wouldn't be buying stuff, a lot of stuff. Okay, so again, you need to. It, it's one of those things. Okay, and then. If you do get the image and the ad copy right, which which you know a lot of people can do, it, you they they end up on your Instagram profile right now. Where some people go wrong on here right. So again, for these guys, they're they're following 154 people and they have 287 followers. So again, right off the bat, you can tell they're brand new. They're they're fresh right. Like these guys are right off the chopping block. Okay, um, they don't have a lot of following. They don't have a, like a, a large social media following. They don't even acknowledge the fact that they're new right. So again, if if you really wanted um, to not like buy fake followers for your store or anything like that guys like you can just acknowledge the fact that you guys are new but you have to do it well okay these guys are not doing that okay they're following a bunch of people that they probably don't even need to be following right they're probably just doing the follow back like follow for follow whatever and then follow like unfollow people um to try and get more followers which is not a good tactic anymore that worked in like 2016 um and the <laughs> the description itself one of the one of the, one of the the ad, like they're wasting real like real estate space on their bio. One of the pieces of it says SSL encrypted checkout. Like that's not that's not a buying factor for someone on an Instagram profile, guys. Oh my god. Um, 
<laughs> this, uh, yeah, I don't even, I'm kind of speechless. Okay, and then again, there's not enough photos on the account. Um, the logo is trash, it's all pixelated. Everything, every photo they're posting is pixelated, or you can tell it's from, you know, from AliExpress um, or stuck. Okay, now, I'm gonna hop on screen share right now. So I can go on their website and kind of see um, what, uh, what we got in store here, okay? So let me start this screen share up real quick. All right, boom, now we're gonna go in and we're gonna type in C, C Lo's Trends, or C Lo Trends. Oh, okay, we're gonna, wait, what the hell is the name again? C, C Lo's Trends, okay? Now, we're here on the website, okay? And um, I, see, I, I typed in their website earlier um, just to kind of see, but then I, I told myself I'm not you know, gonna look, I'm gonna wait. Um, for, for this video to happen so we can kind of all experience this firsthand, okay? So, um, right, right off the bat, I, whew, okay, just breathe. Um, there's, I mean, okay, uh, first of all, the search bar says find your perfect bag. This is a bracelet, this is a bracelet store, and it says find your perfect bag. I'm confused. Um, and right off the bat, it looks like they have two headers, guys. So, like, what the hell? Um, this is, I, I feel like someone just made this site to mess around, but see, like, they do some, like, they, they have the right idea about stuff. Um, I'm kind of scared to say that, but, like, they they have a phone number, which a lot of dropshippers don't include. Um, you know, again, you guys can usually get, like, a, a toll-free phone number if you're trying to go the extra mile, um, and then, like, go on Fiverr and hire someone to do, like, a... Um, like a voicemail or something so that you don't have to actually pick up, but it's just there to improve um, like trust. We're like, oh, they actually have a phone number? Like, cool, like I can call them. They're not actually gonna call you, but like they think that. Um, so they, they they have that there. Um, they have their social medias linked down below. Um, they, they have like secure checkout and the six day money back, like which is okay. I don't really use that stuff anymore, guys, um, just cause I think it's kind of sus. And I think just if you can look the part for a brand, you don't need to tell people, um, you know, like, We'll give you your money back with all these guarantees and secure checkouts and SSL security. Um, you don't <laughs> you don't need to like forefront that, right? And so again, they're listing their products. Everything's discounted, by the way, which is not a good thing either. Okay, um, that should not be the case. And again, like so again, guys, like these are like I I think I literally sold this Yin Yang bracelet, guys, for my first store on the Nugget, um, f for a lot more than eight dollars. Okay, because I branded it, like I. I made custom content, guys. Like, the, putting in the extra work is worth it, okay? You can go from, you know, this, this bracelet on AliExpress is probably like $2, okay? I could probably sell this if I brand it properly for $20. $20, guys, and it costs $2, maybe an extra $2.50 for e-packet, so that's $4.50, and then if I ran, you know, a lot of Facebook ads for it, maybe, you know, $1 to $2 cost per purchase if it's, if, you know, once I get it, um, you know, targeted, and then it's just printing money at that point, okay? Now, you can't do that if you're charging $8 for it. Um, see, see what I mean, guys? Like, you, a, lot, a lot of people just are not selling their products high enough, but they just can't sell their products high enough because they can't brand it well enough, um, which is interesting. Now, so the ad itself, right? Going back to the ad, it was this lava bracelet thing, um, or leopard bracelet, my bad. And um, so it looks like this is the main one um, where they're saying free bracelet. Okay, so we'll click on this. Now, again, they're not using any sort of custom content. I, I can guarantee this is all AliExpress images. Um, so we're actually gonna go in and reverse image search this real quick to show you guys that it isn't AliExpress images, or that it is AliExpress image, okay? Um, and right here, first link is the literal um, uh, bracelet, okay? Now, what, <laughs> what I don't understand is why there's, hold on, give me some, okay, 44 orders. Okay, guys, like when you're doing product research, you need to make sure that the supplier you're choosing, like your back end, right, who's actually gonna be fulfilling um, and acting, you know, like acting on the customer's behalf and getting that product to the customer um, is is actually taking in volume. Um, 47 transactions in the last six months, guys. That's not, <laughs> that, like you, he could have found such a better supplier selling the same product, guys, um, that, probably was, you know, better at, better at fulfilling, okay? So, yeah, we cleared that out, and <laughs> look, 49,000 sold, guys. This guy sold almost 50,000 50, bracelets, and there's only nine remaining. Better buy it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's, there's a lot he's doing 
wrong like like again guys like like you can use like these like this horrify app here for like for um you know for scarcity and urgency and all this all this stuff right um but just the way he's executing it whoever's you know doing this store is it's just not right like even this like the description shipping like this is good like i've seen this before in stores used really really well okay um there's no reviews yet like you don't want to have a customer review section with no reviews that just hurts you um i mean guys there's stuff here that he like that they're doing well um but the the presentation is like it's ruining them okay guys like they, they could have done so much so much better um so this so it says order in the next 10 hours if to get it by Tuesday, November 13th. Today, today is October 2nd, guys. That's over a month and a half, or that's like a month and a half, um, which is way too long. And you wouldn't want to tell people that, even if you can't get faster shipping times because you can't find suppliers or you don't have you know built-up relationships with your suppliers. You're not gonna, you don't want to tell people like, oh, buy it now, you'll get it in a month and a half. Happy times. Um, yeah, guys, I mean, I just wanted, like, I wanted to make this video, guys, to kind of, I mean, obviously, you know, poke fun at, at this store, um, but to help you guys out and kind of understand, you know, at least what not to do um, for this. Because, again, like, this site is horrendous. They have two headers um, that, like, two headers with a search bar in between, which is, is interesting um, in itself. But, you know, like, this, this whole video, guys, I, I really just wanted to break down because um, I saw this ad. And I was like, no, no way this is this is real. But uh, I saw this ad. I, we checked out, you know, the the Instagram for it. Um, and then, you know, we're on their website here. And, like, th there's so many things, guys, that they're not doing right. And I wanted to just at least show you guys what not to do at least. Because, again, guys, like, don't say 50,000 sold, okay, with nine remaining. And, so, like, there's some things that are just so extra that you don't need to do. Like, for me, like... I used to use a lot of these scarcity tactics and Hurify and a bunch of stuff and like it still works if you don't overdo it guys like discounts still work just don't add them on every single product like like this guy did um, but the the fact of the matter is guys like what I've found after drop shipping for so long is the brand can the brand has more power than than any scarcity tactic any urgency tactic any discount um, that, that you can that you can slap on you know to, to a website like the brand um, and how you position it, how you market, like the angle that you're taking, um, the content, like the, the brand guys, if you, if you can brand right guys, the, the, like, like this guy's your competition. Okay. If you guys can brand your stores, if you guys can just get custom content, slap some presets on it. Um, you know, get, get your own, get a decent looking website and don't overdo everything. Like don't install, like don't go to the Shopify app store and just install every single app you see. That's not what you need to do. Um, even though like that, you can kind of get into that frenzy because like you think there's so much that can, that can help when, when really guys, what comes down to it and what will help you get sales is people's perspective on, on your, on your store, on your brand. Okay. If, if, if someone visits your site and they think that you're worth $300, that your bracelet is worth $300, they'll spend $300. Okay. Or better yet, if they think your bracelets are worth $300 and all your bracelets are worth, are listed at, at $300, but you have one bracelet on sale for $249, they'll buy that. Okay. Like that, see, that's the proper use of a discount is when you're positioning it alongside all your other products, making your other products that are like that are just as good look good, but then making this one that's just as good and acknowledging that it's cheaper and they acknowledge that it's cheaper because they see it's cheaper than all the other products that it's surrounded by. Um, they're more likely to buy guys. Okay. So there's so much stuff you can do branding wise and with content um, just to position your, your store better um, to actually get sales guys. And that, that's really what I want to like stress and kind of like tell the industry and tell you guys is is to really just focus on branding and content and making your store simple, modern, and visually compelling. Okay, um, using white space really well too, just because that's kind of like the the in right now, just because everything's all like super contemporary and modern. Um, but that's really how to get sales. Like, like, like a lot. Like, unfortunately, guys, because I know a lot of you guys are hoping that you know after you install all these apps, your conversion rate you know will skyrocket or you'll start getting sales overnight. Um, and that's not the case. Like I've even split tested, guys. I've split tested these little, you know, these little like seller guarantee icons and whatnot. And I've actually had it hurt my conversion rate. Okay. Like there's certain things you can do. Like like you gotta like really put yourself in the customer's shoes, guys. Like this is a long ass video, and 
it started with just me seeing a freaking bad Instagram post, but like, I, I, I what, I'm trying to just get the point across, guys. Like, focus on the brand, focus on the long term. You guys will make so much more money than trying to go for the quick buck and trying to get people to to impulse buy. Because like, the beauty of it, guys, is people already impulse buy. You don't need to force them to impulse buy but if your brand is strong enough and it looks good you're not asking them to impulse buy like this guy is literally everything he's got the wiggly add to cart he's got the little um the heat you know emoji 14 sold in the last 24 hours um you know he's got how many people are viewing the product he's got you know a countdown timer he's got how many units sold how many units are remaining um uh, he's you know got you know this this scarcity tactic or urgency tactic my bad um for the 10 hours 56 minutes like he this person used every single thing in the book but their site's ridiculous and they're not going to convert and like even the color theme is a little whack um but again guys like if you branded it if you really really branded it, and this is why i'm excited to drop the documentaries when they're ready um because it's just going to change the game honestly but if, if you really brand your story guys and focus on developing a brand and making sure your drop shipping site does not look like a drop shipping site guys you'll make a lot of money okay guys and it's it's just a matter it's like less like it's a good thing for most of you guys too is because it's like you don't have to overcomplicate things you don't need a lot of apps you don't need a lot of stuff like if anything most of my apps now are more back end focused like um, I use Sendlane for example for email marketing um, just to increase you know my lot like lifetime value of a customer get them back um, you know a cart abandonment cart uh, cart recovery like all that kind of stuff just like focusing on the back end because you can make a lot of money there you can always make more money in the back end. Um, rather than using all these tactics to, to try and catch an impulse buyer, um, you know, it, it's just like with the market guys, I feel like people are overusing this like way too much. Um, and the, the beauty of it guys is that like content, I think like content is king. Marketing is queen guys. If you haven't heard that quote, make sure you make sure you learn it. Okay. If you, if you have the content, I know I'm just reiterating this like a lot guys. One, I'm just really tired. And two, I really need you guys to understand this is that you master the content, you master the branding, you'll get sales, okay guys? And then you market it properly. Again, with the Instagram funnel that I kind of walked you guys through, it, if you can perfect that funnel, guys, right? So compelling imagery, good copy that backs up the imagery or draws them or gives them inf information about the product or um, creates some sort of emotional attachment to the product or evokes some emotion, right? Then it drives them to the Instagram page or Instagram profile because they're curious, right? Um, and then they'll check out your profile. You need a lot of posts, you need a lot of custom content on your profile. You need at least a bio that, <laughs> that doesn't have SSL security uh, words in it. Um, you need you know a decent sized following. So for dropshipping stores, you can buy followers, guys. That's the only time I'd ever advocate for, for buying followers, but you you need to do it right. Like the, <laughs> there's ways you can do it wrong, like buying followers and posting and have like two likes on your photos. Um, you shouldn't do that. But again, guys, you can always also go the route where it's like acknowledging the fact that you're brand new, doing like a like a, a launch store giveaway, right? And then running some shout outs for that. That'll drive like organic traffic. That'll build your social media following. That's literally what I did for the Nugget guys for my first drop shipping store. Um, and like stuff like that, guys, and getting that funnel so that you can eventually be driving traffic really, really well um, to your store, to your website. And then you just got to make sure your website's not ass. Like, like damn. Um, but yeah, okay, guys. So I hope I hope that that kind of helps um, with you guys. I know this was a relatively long video, um, and I hope it was at least informative for you guys and you guys gave you guys some some insight at least on this. And if this was your website, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'm not really sorry. Uh, but I'm glad I was able to help you because now you can fix it. But yeah, guys, that is the video. Don't forget to drop a like. If you enjoyed it or got some sort of value from it or you know anything <laughs> don't forget to comment i respond to everybody's comments and don't forget to subscribe guys i will see you guys in the next video i hope this was informative i hope you know you guys you guys learned something valuable um you know either about you know the ad um in the instagram funnel um websites whatever it was i hope you guys learned something um as always guys there's information in the description um for the course if you're interested um there's you know a bunch of other stuff there's the free facebook group everything like that guys and i will see you guys in the next video i'm off to arizona to speak at the build your empire business event um with a bunch of other boys and uh yeah guys i'll keep you guys updated on that and i will see you guys in the next one take care and peace yeah.